we need to create spaces for people. Buildings can be built anywhere. This is about creating a space that people will want to come to, that they'll want to work in, that they'll want to live in. And more important, that they'll actually come to in the evenings, late in the evenings, to enjoy it, that there'll be activities on it. Kilkenny City has a rich medieval heritage. Um, we have landmarks such as Kilkenny Castle and St. Canice's Cathedral. The Abbey itself, the Abbey Quarter, is famous for St. Francis Abbey, which is visually the most dominant historic building within the quarter. It was founded by the Marshall family, who um, lived in Kilkenny Castle and were Lords of Leinster. It was founded in 1230 to 34, and is, I suppose, famous for its association with many distinguished people who were buried there throughout its time. The building itself, St. Francis Abbey, is a very elegant building and shows very much the, I suppose, the engineering ingenuity that was there at the time and also the great crafts that were there for the stonemasons and craftsmen that worked on the building during the medieval period. The, the tentacles of the families went everywhere in so far as when I started here, my dad worked here, my brother worked here, my uncle worked here, my three first cousins worked here, and I come from a very small road in Kilkenny where there are 30 houses, and um, 15 of those houses had people working in the brewery. And so there was, you walked to work, or you drove to work, or you came to work uh, with people that lived next door to you. So it created a community within a community. This project has originated by the, the decision of Diageo in the first instance in 2012 to close the Smithix Brewery site. Uh, there was a brewery here from 1710, for, so for over 300 years there was a brewery here. So the elected members of the council back in 2012 made the strategically important decision to buy this, this big site within the core of the city centre. It's, a, it's an 11 acre site that was purchased from, from Diageo. Uh, so we, we, the process since has been to master plan the site to determine what, what should be the layout of new development on the site uh, and trying to get a mix between buildings and having uh, significant areas of public realm. So the key really is this, this site has been closed off to the public for the last 300 years while the brewery was operational. So really key because it's in the core of the city is to integrate the site back into the, into the city. The main elements of the plan are to, to uh, renovate and reuse the brew house building and the Mayfair building. These are two, two buildings that were former brewery buildings. Uh, the brew house building is where the brewing took place, so that is to be renovated for use. It's about 6,000 square metres in total, but 4,500 uh, square metres of office space is to be developed in that building. The Mayfair building then, there's a lot of history behind that. It's a very significant heritage building within the city in that it's where the Mayfair ballroom was between 1943 and 1973. There are a number of new buildings to be developed on the site. It's to be a mixed-use development, so we're looking to get a, a mix of residential, uh, office, small-scale commercial and retail, uh, and get a broad mix of uses. The partnership works whereby Kilkenny County Council have invested the land uh, and we've invested investment capital uh, to support the development uh, of the commercial activities on the site. This works in parallel with URDF and other funding for public realm, etc. So ISAF and Kilkenny County Council will share in the commercial upsides from the development of that site, uh, initially through the seed capital that both entities provided, and then ISAF has, has provided follow-on investment capital specifically for the brew house development. In due course, there may be further investment either from ISAF or indeed from commercial market sources. Public ground spaces are an actual fact the lifeblood of the city. When we're designing uh, new city spaces, we tend to think of, people tend to think of public spaces as negative spaces left behind after the building, but in actual fact, they're the most important spaces that you look to create when you're forming a new urban quarter. The core purpose of the URDF is to promote more compact and sustainable development in our cities and large towns. This is done by a combination of regeneration and renewal projects that promote vibrancy and activity in our urban areas and make places that are more attractive to live, work and invest in. Critically, the URDF is a mixed catalyst fund involving various stranded projects in, to enable brownfield urban areas. Uh, in 2018, following the first round, the fund supported 87 projects involving urban regeneration, public realm reuse, uh, brownfield enablement 
and community and cultural use. We've received very significant funding from the Urban Regeneration Development Fund. That allows us, as I've said, to, to integrate the site back into the city. So to start with, we will be developing the area of Horse Barrick Lane. We'll be taking down the boundary wall that stood along the, the boundary with the brewery and in, allowing the, the, the city to spill into the, into the site. It's also going to allow us to develop the Riverside Park project uh, in, the first, in the first phase of works. So we've recently made the decision to uh, develop the new Kilkenny City Library within the Mayfair building. So it gets one of the first uses on the, on the site will be a public building, uh, a really key important uh, entrance into the site. One, one of the key features on the site here is St Francis Abbey itself. It's a 12th century uh, abbey uh, and it's, it's been closed off to public access. Up, up until now. So the proposal is for us to develop a two and a half acre uh, park around the Abbey, so allow, facilitating public access and really allowing us to incorporate the events and many festivals in the city that they can take place within a new civic space within the, within the city. So uh, when it comes to the council on us, uh, we have been looking for a skate park for over 20 years in, in this city and finally the council has answered back and they proposed a site for us up here uh, beside the bridge. What has happened is we had a consultation with a Spanish architect, I'd say June of 2018, and we drew up a rough layout of the space here and the architect listened to us and kind of put all the obstacles and ramps that we would like in it. And there had been another consultation to kind of streamline the park and we're still kind of in the process of the final design, but it's, it's, on, the, it's on the final stretch for now. The master plan, as I said, is, it was originally developed in 2013, following public consultation. We realised that, look, that the, the master plan wasn't right, and we undertook a process of revisioning that, that master plan. So trying to get the master plan right and, and get, allowing the people of Kilkenny to have a real input into the plans for the site, I think was a, a significant challenge uh, to, 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 to start with. Given the heritage of the site, we've, it's a very rich in heritage. We have the city walls running through the site. We have St Francis Abbey. We're in the core of the city centre of Kilkenny, a medieval city. So there's significant archaeology within the uh, site. So we've undertaken a, pro uh, a very extensive test excavation program in the, in the last two years where we've opened up uh, targeted test excavation trenches to see is the, what, what's below the ground doesn't match what we know from the cartographic and historical records of the, of the site. So it's giving us, given us a, a very clear picture of what's below the ground and how that, how that can impact on the, on the development. I suppose if there was a word of learning for anyone in this, it would be, these don't happen lightly. If you want to do something quick, go out and get a greenfield site on the ring road in Kilkenny and work away and you will deliver offices very quickly. This wasn't about that. This is about an urban brownfield site steeped in history is the only way I could put it. Well, under the enabling theme, Clearly what we'd like to see is people living and working in the right places, in particularly regional cities and, and, and the larger towns. Clearly from, from a working point of view, we would see the Abbey Quarter and the Brewhouse Building and other developments such as that as being key enablers that will attract potentially foreign direct investment entities into the area and support indigenous companies who want to grow and operate within the regions. So currently the Abbey, St Francis Abbey, is very inaccessible to the public and it has been nestled away within the brewery site. So this new project will allow OPW to present our monument and make it accessible to not only the people of Kilkenny City, but to a wider audience and create a potential tourist attraction within the city of Kilkenny. I really do hope that the Abbey Quarter development, um, especially if in the, the next three to five years, will bring a whole new, I suppose, lease of life to the area. Um, this side of town is probably a little bit, has always been a little bit forgotten. Um, when we started out here particularly, there was lots of empty buildings and, and even the locals would, would often say they'd rarely walk this far down. So the Abbey Quarter is an opportunity for, for Kilkenny to, 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 I suppose, spread beyond the, the very city centre and draw people down from the castle all the way down the medieval mile right up to Canis Cathedral. Well, when the skate park is finally finished, uh, I, I think it will, uh, it will act as a hub, you know, as a, as a community hub. 
definitely for the youth because it's it's not you don't have to you don't have to skate you can you can go on rollerblades you can go on your BMX and you know even if you're if you're not into action sports as a place you can meet your friends and just hang out and I believe that it will bring uh, more attention to the sport within Kilkenny and, and I think it will put it in a more positive light. So this city needs this regeneration and it's fantastic that Guinness when decided to sell salt to the local council and it'll be great to see uh, this side of the city regenerated at the end of Medieval Mile. Hopefully the Smithix Visitor Centre will be part of the campus here and if we can attract a, a industry or whatever comes down to this side of town it can only be good for Kilkenny as a city.